power levels at one right, hello everyone and welcome to a new video my name is JD Bosch and I'm bringing you yet another class setup today we're going with another sniper which is the SVG 100 and this I have to say is probably one of the best snipers um, in Black Ops 3 anyway um, compared to the dragon off the locust well, I say dragon off the dragon and the uh, locust it's definitely one of the better ones. The PO6 again is um, it's a really good sniper, um, but you can almost treat that like an assault rifle. This is you know a pure sniper, and here's the setup. I have thermal, fast mags, and uh, uh, rapid fire. And I feel like rapid fire is a necessity on this gun because just for how long it takes for you to the gun to well cog back. And uh, you know you need to be able to kill enemies quickly, and without rapid fire, it's a little difficult. Um, and then um, for perks, I have ghost because obviously a sniper, you know, you want to remain off the radar so you can get behind the enemies and take them out. After burner for the obvious reasons, and then I have cold blooded because I do tend to find that there are other people who are using snipers also using thermal, and I feel like with cold blooded you have the advantage. Um, if you both have thermal, for you to have to cold blood and the other guy doesn't, so you can get a better shot on him while he's looking at you thinking, oh, I can't see him as well. Bravo, and uh, then lastly, I also have tack mask for the reason so you don't get, um, well, sorry, I, I had to be silent there for that dreadful camping. And look at it, look, watch, 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 watch. <gasps> oh, he's using cold blooded, same as me. In that kind of situation, it's uh, just who has the better aim, and in this case, neither of us. And he runs away, which is uh, good on his end. And uh, yeah, so you can see I'm rocking the Ripper with the score streaks of the Wraith, uh, the Hater, and the Power Ball. And uh, I don't know why, but I just felt like putting on these um, score streaks because Wraith is just, uh, you know, it wrecks no matter what you do. Hater, so you can actually see where everyone is. And then the Power Core, it's pretty much just an EMP, just you can destroy it on the ground. So uh, I got I got Dookies on there. He just picked up his LMG and wrecked me. But anyway, back to the commentary. Um, yeah, I whenever I play this game and I'm sniping, I will always pick the SVG first. Um, I mean, at the moment I have terrible aim, um, just because I'm somewhat warming up. Um, but you'll see later on I do pretty well. Um, and um, in today I kind of wanted to talk about um, the specialists. Um, in this game, um, and if we may see them return, in a sense, um, in future Call of Duties, um, I'm not, I really doubt they'll put specialists in the new uh, Call of Duty World War II, um, but then, you know, we don't know very much about what's confirmed, what's going on, and, you know, what's going to be happening, but, um, I mean, for the most part, the only specials I really use is um, Spectre with the Ripper, um, because obviously when you're a sniper, you want to do that, so if he looks at you, and you look at him, you're going to be the one to kill him. Um, I mean, because no other specialist can really, you know, get you out of sticky situations like that. Like, the Ripper has saved me from so many sticky situations where I, you know, had a, conf a conflict with an enemy and I'm the one killing him because I end up having my Ripper. And I know a lot of people say this is more of a, you know, a panic knifing kind of, you know, trash that you shouldn't be using because he can panic knife and stuff like that, but not really, I mean, you know, he's fun to use, he's pretty much aimbot knifer, aimbot um, knifing, and I find that very cool. Um, as for, you know, like the gravity spikes and the... Um, the Sparrow, you know, the War Machine, all those other ones. I do enjoy, they're good fun to use. I mean, you see that I just got full streak sniping. It's very rare of me. Um, but, um, yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, specialists, I think they're good. Um, but there are some that are dreadful, and I'm sure you know uh, what I'm about to say. Hive. I don't know what you were thinking bringing that in. Because it, it like... Not only does it take a long time for you to get the hive, but you also, um, you know, it, it, whenever you put them down and you die, that's it. You've lost them, and you have to work up all that ever you just took, you took, sorry, of um, getting it back again and then just dying again. It's pretty useless. You have to be the most dirtiest camper to make those hives work. Um, and then, of course, you also have um, 
purifier, another really good one to use, and uh, surprisingly, um, Scythe um, is also one I use a lot of, although they did nerf it badly. Like, not only did they reduce the ammo count, but they've also, you know, made it so you actually, you know, it drains so quickly when you hold the trigger. That's just, that just is no good. It's no fun. But, um, yeah, so, halfway through the commentary, and um, I thought I'd also talk about the, um, the DLC weapons, as we previously we just had, um, the Blackjack, um, gun game, which I enjoyed quite a lot, actually. It was good fun, um, using all the DLC weapons, although I have already used all the DLC weapons, uh, just from picking them up with dead bodies. Nice little bang there, if I might say so myself. And, um, um, as for, um, like, there's only a few... DLC weapons I would really want to go for, um, which is like the PP PPSH and the M16. I did mention this in my other video, but I'd also I really want to talk about the DLC sniper rifles. And I know um, I can't remember the name of it. It's the RS Inter Integration or Integration, something like that. Um, please don't bite me if I say it wrong. But I I really just like look at that, look at that. Oh, it's annoying. But yes, uh, that, that is dreadful. Um, I mean, for console users, maybe it's better because you have aim assist. We PC players don't have aim assist. We have to rely purely on our aim. And um, some PC players just haven't got the aim that I have. Like, I haven't had now. Which, oh, just quick scoped him. Oh, and then my teammate burned them all alive back there. Um, um, yeah, but then the other one I do like um, is the DBSR 50, um, which is pretty much just the DSR, really. Just that you shoot it twice and then cock it back. Um, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really hard for me to explain, um, you know, what I feel about weapons, especially when I haven't really used them all that much. Um, but, I mean, what do you think, guys? Do you enjoy the DLC weapons in Black Ops 3? And do you feel like they could do um, a better job in the next Call of Duty game? I mean, this is going to be World War 2, so we're going to be exper experiencing way more um, a variety of weapons. And... Um, I mean, as long as they bring back my Tommy gun from, well, not Tommy gun, but Thompson from World of War, I'll be happy because that's always a good gun. I'm sure you guys will get agree. And the M1 Grand and some other cool guns. Um, yeah, so, I mean, and I guess if I had to, because like, there's quite a bit of the gameplay left here, um, I guess I could also talk um, of my most hated sniper rifle. I mean, there is only one clear winner, and that's the Dragon. Or Drake, whatever you want to call it. To me, whoever uses that weapon is just a complete like nut to you who just just does not know how to use a sniper rifle or even know how to play the game properly because it really is a terrible gun. Um, and it's terrible in the sense that it's not that it's a bad gun. It, it does decent damage, and you can do some serious damage with it. In fact, it's just the the players who use it. Campers. Oh, I mean, I know Sniper Rifle is primarily a camping situation, but me, me you don't see me camping with a sniper. Because um, I've never been a campy person. I've always been one to rush no matter what situation I'm in. And it works out most of the time, but then other times it really doesn't. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the only reason. I, and I guess I, if I had to say one, the RS inter integration, iteration, however you say it, um, just because its default sight is really bad, and even when you put thermal or elo on it, it's still pretty inconsistent. I mean, every time I've had it and picked it up, I've always gotten, um, you know, hit markers all the time. I rarely get killed with it, in fact. That's just how bad it is. Um, and, um, and then, for, I guess for the last topic I could talk about, um, I guess it would have to do with the, um, just had it on the top of my head, and now it's gone. Um, you know, I will remember this. Um, yeah, I, get, I mean, what would you guys think of, um, the new upcoming DLC? Do you reckon it'll be any good? Do you reckon it'll be another Advanced Warfare, where we, it looked good, but then turned out to be a pile of poop? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm up for Call of Duty, I mean, I've always said to myself, oh, this next Call of Duty is going to be rubbish, oh, it's not going to be any fun, and then I try it, and I actually find it to be really enjoyable. Like, I, I said to myself, this game, Black Ops 3, is going to be absolute rubbish, and look at me, I really enjoy it, 
and I really do thoroughly um, feel that um, World War 2 will do a good job um, and um, yeah you know I'm still trying to think of what it was I was trying to say um, beforehand um, yes that was it um, so I, I want to know like from a console player's perspective what would you guys say is easier would you say that PC is easier or would you say that your consoles are easier oh look at that shot oh, I was so happy here I was like oh got it I got that shot um and almost the other guy but um yeah what do you do you guys feel that a console is easier or using a mouse and keyboard me personally just because of how long I've been doing it for for about 10 plus years I have been on the PC and I find it easier than using a controller um if you would like um you can put it in the comment section um, if you would like to see me use a controller. Maybe a bit of a giggle for you guys, because to me, it's like trying to use, you know, um, a high-tech security lab, and there's a controller that will make you, you know, fly. And you, I wouldn't know how to use it. I mean, I can hold it, and I know what the button is, but I, I can't use it. To me, it's, 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 it's alien. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. See ya.